Hi, my name is Teresa Ward Maupin. I'm the Senior Vice President of Digital and Customer Experience for Comcast. RISE stands for Representation, Investment, Strength, and Empowerment. Comcast RISE is a multi-year commitment to provide monetary grants, media, and technology resources for small businesses owned by people of color, which includes Black, Indigenous, Hispanic, and Asian Americans, among others. To date, nearly 4,800 entrepreneurs from all over the U.S. have been selected as Comcast RISE recipients. On September 14th, we announced the fourth round of Comcast RISE awardees, and that's an additional 1,100 small businesses that will receive consultation, media, or creative production services from Effective, our advertising sales arm of Comcast Cable, or a tech makeover from Comcast Business. And by the end of 2022, this program will support more than 13,000 small businesses. The investment fund is the newest component of Comcast Rides and it provides $10,000 monetary grants to small businesses owned by people of color. Now in this round, eligible businesses in Houston, Miami, Oakland, Seattle, Twin Cities, and DC can apply at www.comcastrise.com between October 1st and October 14th. A total of 100 grants per city, or $610,000 grants overall, will be awarded in November 2021. Additionally, Comcast has partnered with Eureka, an online platform for entrepreneurs, and together we will provide grant recipients a complimentary 12-month membership to their coaching program. This will help build skills focused on strengthening company's foundation, gaining more customers, and becoming financially stable. Applications are evaluated based on the impact of COVID-19 and recent social unrest to the businesses, their families, and to their communities. We also take into consideration how the businesses were able to pivot and continue forward and how they were able to bring their communities up with them. First, the businesses must be located in one of the six designated geographic areas to be eligible to apply for Comcast RISE Investment Fund, as well as at least 51% owned and operated by a person of color. And this includes Hispanic, Black, Indigenous, and Asian American owned businesses, among others. They must be independently owned and operated, registered and conduct business in the U.S., and in the operations at least three years or longer and employ no more than 25 employees, including full-time or part-time. In addition, business owners are not eligible to apply if they are currently employed elsewhere by Comcast Corporation, or they are currently serving in a full-time or part-time as a government employee. All eligibility requirements and content rules can be found at the program's website, which is www.comcastrise.com. That is also where interested small businesses should go. The application process begins online at ComcastRise.com. Before beginning the application process, we recommend that you gather the following documentation and information. Your company W-9, the business owner's social security number, or EIN, and one of the following, incorporation articles, EIN, or your tax identification, official registration or business license. Now we're gonna take a closer look at the application itself. For that, I'll hand it over to Marcella Shine, the Director of Community for Eureka, who's going to walk us through the application process. Hi, and thanks, Teresa, for the introduction. I will be walking you through the application process from Eureka. First, you will note that we use SurveyMonkey to accept your application. This is a safe platform where you can submit your data securely. Now, first, you must either register, top right button, or if you've applied with us in the past, log in. When you go ahead to register, you will note that you can use social media properties to register with or the form. I went ahead and registered with Twitter to show you how to apply. Let's view programs and you will note the Comcast Rise program. Let's continue, go ahead and apply. First thing you have to do under your tasks is take the eligibility quiz. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and fill it out. 
as you can see, we will be asking you to give us proof of incorporation and proof that you have been in business existence for over three years. As you go through this, one of the good things about this platform is that you can save your work as you go along. So if you do not have time to complete the application, whether it's this part of it or the next part of it, you will have an opportunity to come back in and finish it. Go ahead and mark this as complete and take a look at the next part. Now you will see the actual application itself. It's really important to note that the application has parts A all the way down to G. You can see there's a scroll bar here, so that's important. As you begin the application process, you will note that the email I used is here. Please confirm that you have your email or your preferred email clearly in place because we will be communicating with you after the fact using these email addresses. Now, as I save my work, you will see that on the left-hand side, this shows you a partially full form. This will happen all the way through and they will fill up as you complete the application. Again, it's easy to come in and go back out as needed. After you complete the form, you will be asked to sign it and you should be able to use your computer to make that happen. If at any point you have any questions about the application criteria, you can always go back to the original link that we sent you where the application criteria can be found below the fold of this picture. In addition to that, you should prepare the documents that we mentioned earlier where you'll need proof of incorporation and proof that you've been in business for at least three years. If you have any questions, please let us know and we look forward to seeing you inside the Eureka community.